COVID-19 has forced the Terry Fox Foundation to get creative in an effort to keep Terry's legacy alive. We're meeting with somebody now who has been keeping his younger brother's legacy alive now for 40 some odd years. Let's welcome from the Vancouver area, Fred Fox, the older brother of Terry Fox. Welcome to the program, Fred. It's a pleasure having you here on The Source. The thank room you, you. Uh, that you're in right now, some, some great memorabilia, keeping your brother's legacy alive. Can you talk a little bit about some of these images and that t-shirt? Yeah, the uh, you know the images behind me, a poster from a long time ago, a couple of uh, an image of uh, somebody that somebody uh, uh, handed themselves that I met in Toronto, and uh, and the T-shirt of Terry's, uh, yeah, one of the ones that he wore, hung up in you know we've got it displayed in my office here at uh, Simon Fraser University. As an older brother of a legend like Terry Fox, let's go back to his marathon of hope. You were very vocal in saying that you believed that he was going to be able to complete this. How did you have so much faith in your younger brother? Well, I think that was Terry's attitude. Uh, Terry set as a young age, at a very young age, he set goals for himself. Uh, he wasn't, uh, he would be the first one to say he wasn't the best athlete uh, or best student in class. He had to work harder than anybody. Terry was very goal oriented and uh, worked hard at everything and he was determined. He was so darn determined to um, get home and, uh, uh, you know, running a marathon every day during the Marathon of Hope that spring and, and summer of 1980. Um, nothing was going to stop Terry from getting home. The only thing that would stop Terry was, of course, the return of cancer. And when that cancer did return, obviously he had to stop his Marathon of Hope. 5,300 kilometers plus already traveled. What was the mood like on his team at that time? Uh, of course, we were, you know, everybody was obviously very disappoint, disappointed and shocked, um, concerned with Terry, obviously. And, uh, um, you know, and, but it was, you know, that was all, we were all picked up by seeing the reaction of Canadians, uh, so supportive of, of what Terry had done. And right away, donations were coming in and Terry made his way back home with, with mom and dad and, um, you know, we saw later on, you know, a telethon being held and, and so Terry's marathon uh, was, was continuing through Canadians and, and doing different fundraisers of their own to, to support uh, his cause. Were you surprised at how much of Canada actually got involved in this and really took up the cause, not just during the Marathon of Hope, but now still 40 years later, we are still honoring his legacy by taking to the streets, running and raising funds to fight cancer. You must have been extremely proud as an older brother at, at that time and continue to be in his name. Yeah, and, um, and that's Terry. That was the, um, the example that Terry showed us in uh, 1980. People grabbed onto that. People could see and still today see that Terry Fox wasn't doing his run. Uh, for himself, not to be rich, famous, not to gain anything afterwards. He was doing it. Uh, he wanted to make a difference in other people's lives. And here we are 40 years later, thousands of Canadians, young and older, school kids, 9,000 schools in Canada, um, you know, communities right across Canada, uh, small and big, and, and as well in the Niagara area, doing Terry Fox runs. And it wouldn't happen. None of this would happen. would be where we are today if not for so many people giving up their time. A few years ago, he was voted the greatest Canadian of all time. How do you feel about that honor going to your brother? Again, that's the, the sentiments of, of Canadians and Terry inspired so many. And, uh, you know, Terry wasn't about being considered a hero. He actually really shied away from that label. He, that's not, again, as I said, wasn't what Terry uh, was about, but uh, it's, it's just a sentiment that of uh, how Canadians feel about Terry, not only Canadians here in Canada, but uh, Canadians and people around the world uh, who have gotten to know Terry uh, think that way of him. Fred, you travel to many of those schools uh, that you have spoken about uh, just a few moments ago. What is your message to the young kids about Terry's legacy? It's, it's always about, uh, as I said, Terry being just that average, ordinary Canadian kid, not the best athlete. Uh, he wasn't the biggest, fastest, uh, strongest. He wasn't the best student in class. But through a little bit of hard work and, uh, and determination, Terry was able to accomplish many of the goals that he set for himself. And he, you know, he even said during his Marathon of Hope that 
anything is possible if you try. So that's usually the message um, um, I share with uh, young students uh, across Canada and in the schools that I visit, that, uh, that they can accomplish anything just like Terry did. I was 17 years old when Terry went on his journey, followed it quite closely as most of Canada did. I can't remember prior to that someone doing something like Terry took on. I don't remember someone going on a fundraising run, even just locally. Uh, this was a national fundraising run that Terry was going to do. He really set the bar for so many other people that have tried to follow in his footsteps, not just for Terry's own cause, but other causes. It's, it's a very common thing that we see today, someone deciding that they're going to go for a run to raise funds for a cause. And again, it's something that your younger brother really, really was the first in my mind to do. Yeah, you bet. And, you know, back you know, in 1980 or in the, you know, in the 70s before that, there might have been people who had cycled across Canada or ran for maybe ran from Halifax. Terry wanted to go right across Canada, start in, in Newfoundland. And uh, the difference with Terry was he had an artificial leg and uh, he, you know, one good leg, one is artificial limb. And, and he was going to do that, uh, run a marathon. And, you know, back in the day, not very many people were running with artificial limbs. Terry's leg actually was designed for walking not for running so um yeah terry was a innovator a, a humanitarian and uh um again even the first terry fox run uh in um september 13th of 1981 was the first of its kind there wasn't those kind of fundraising events um happening back then like we do we see now um in normal normal years uh, most most weekends in the spring and fall $750 million raised over the years, over $750 million. That's a huge amount of money. Where has that money gone as far as cancer research and improving people's lives with the disease? You bet. Um, that's the most important part of what uh, Terry started in 1980 and, and the now close to, well, over $800, $800 million that's been raised. And um, it's impacted cancer research in this country so much and that's what Terry wanted. We have some of the best researchers in Canada um, around the world and uh, Terry wanted to make a difference in the lives of other people who have been diagnosed with cancer. That's what inspired him and that's what it's done. People are surviving their diagnosis like uh, never before. Fred, can you quickly tell me the story about your own pair of the 40th anniversary commemorative shoes? Uh, well, as everybody may, may may know, we've got a relationship with Adidas Canada. Terry wore Adidas running shoes, the Orions, and um, uh, they we work working with Adidas all for a long time now, since last year. And uh, they released those Orion shoes back on April 12th. And uh, so you had to go online to try to get a pair of shoes. And uh, I as all of our family members did, and uh, I wasn't able to get a pair. So, and that was all, that was good. But the, the, the cool thing about it, and just shows who we are as Canadians, uh, we received quite a few uh, emails and calls from Canadians when they heard that I didn't get a pair offering me up a pair. And of course I wouldn't take that. I got a pair in 2005, the 15th, uh, the 25th anniversary, Adidas did the same thing. And uh, we were happy to get a pair then, but, uh, you know, their Adidas have been doing the, the shirts all summer long as well, the uh, retro looking shirts, and um, they've been a great supporter and hopefully we'll raise around a million dollars from um, uh, their involvement this year. Will you be wearing those 2005 shoes this weekend? Yeah, I will. Actually, I do. Uh, that's, they've only been worn a few times. Uh, I haven't worn them every Terry Fox run weekend, but I will be because it's the 40th anniversary uh, you know, this weekend. So uh, we'll be doing that for sure. Fred, thanks for joining us today on The Source. It's a pleasure to speak with you and uh, congratulations on being successful and keeping your brother's legacy alive for 40 years. Well, and th thank you for the opportunity and thank you for Canadians for uh, keeping Terry's dream and legacy alive.